How can we help our aging parents? The first thing is that every time you're going to do something, you ask yourself, am I doing this with respect, with love, and with patience? What does this mean? First, if our parents have the capacity to make decisions on their own, then we need to, need to let them make those decisions, even if we disagree. We can share our opinion, but at the end, it is them who make the decision. So for example, if they don't want to go to the doctor, we cannot force them. If they want to eat candies and ice cream and they shouldn't, we cannot force them, even though we know that is better that they don't. If they want to do something different with their money, it is their money. We need to respect their decisions. We need to let them do what they want with their life. If we start telling our parents what to do and how to do it and do it and even against their wishes, then we're becoming their parent. We're treating them as a child. And that's not respect. That is not treating them with dignity. They're our parents. And that is showing that there's a disorder in the system, in the hierarchy. And that's going to have consequences for us and for them and for the next generations as well, because we are not in our position. We are not respecting our parents and giving them their place as our parents. So it's very important that we need to remember in every single decision that we're making with them, it is their decision, not ours. And how can we support them? It is important also that we let them know that we're doing it the best way we can. And sometimes it's going to be different than what they want. We need to be able to help, to help them with our capacities. And if we have families with small children, we're going to be limited because our family and small children are our priority, their well-being. So we need to see how to find this balance that we're able to help. And maybe it's going to be different from what they want our parents. However, we need to be able to do whatever we can as long as we're maintaining this principle of respect, love and, and patience. How can we help from our position, but also respecting ourselves? without doing things that are against our wishes, capacities, uh, energy, time. And it is very complicated to have like a rule because each situation is going to be so different. Each family is so different. But in general, this is what we need to remember. They are the ones making the decisions. And from our position as their children, how can we support them? How can we help them? Yes, we can give them recommendations, but in the end, we need to respect their decision, even if we disagree. And something that is important is that, yes, if our parents have already issues with dementia, with Alzheimer's, then we are going to be stepping up a little bit and making the decisions. But then it's good to have conversations when they're able to have a conversation of what are their preferences, but things in life so that we already know what is what's best for them according to what was their preference when they were able to have more clarity in their mind. I hope this is helpful. And I know that this is not something easy and it can be very complex and complicated in, in the family and with the siblings. However, it is important for us to be in our position. And if this is complicated, it could be that someone is missing in the family system. And that's why we're not in our position. Maybe there's an abortion, a miscarriage in, with the siblings. Maybe there is a, a lack of mother presence with our mother and we are in the position of our grandmother. So all this is, can show us disorders in the family system that we can heal with family constellations. But it is important that we also bring that awareness in our life in the day-to-day -day situations on how we are approaching it. Are we in our place? Are we doing everything with respect, with love and with patience?